Hey everybody, this is Craig. Stay tuned for my comments after the video. This is a potato clock. Very nice, Anne. Next. I carved this rabbit entirely out of deodorant soap. <laughs> Nick's April Fools is brought to you by Kellogg's Pop Tarts. All that's good out there, in here. Football Head will be right back. Excuse me, is that cold? Yeah. How's it taste? Like blue cherry and vanilla. Where'd you get it? Burger King? Thanks. I'll drive. The new frozen float. You can drink the vanilla, then the blue cherry, or swirl it and whirl it. Captain Burger King ahead! Woohoo! We're here! Now in every big kid deal, you can get a toy from the movie Ice Age and watch some of your favorite characters slide and glide as you build your own ice slide. There's ten in all, so you can collect them, then connect them. At BK, you got it. Show. She's dancing to the beat, wearing hot new clothes. Her wig is it. She's a hit. New Hip Style and Stage Fashion Pack has 26 accessories. April Fool's! Up next, April Fool's Day continues with a brand new April Fool's episode. This is going to be the best April Fool's Day ever. It's April Fool's on Ginger, next on Nick. <laughs> Enough with the April Fool's already. You guys are going to give me a heart attack. Beach Hey, Arnold. He's back on. Friday nights on Nick mean party! This week, the party kicks off with SpongeBob. Then, it's a brand new Chalk Zone. This escape may be your greatest masterpiece yet. Presto! It's the Fairly Odd Parents and an all new Invader Zim. Go, go take care of the Earth Boy. So get down with your favorite Nicktoons Friday at 8, 7 central at the Focus Party for Kids Nickelodeon. Yes! Okay, so we just watched Hey Arnold as it was presented on Nickelodeon back in 2002. And we're just going to run through the video and I'm just going to give you my comments and kind of explain what is important about this video. Uh, what it reflects in the evolution of Nickelodeon and uh, stuff like that. So of course first up we have the title card and the narrative if you will uh, telling you what's coming up and then we go right into a promo uh, for April Fool's Day uh, very themed uh, around like kids being goofy and, and but I mean when you're trying to connect with kids that's what you're going for right? So then we see that it's sponsored by Pop-Tarts. So you have that um, sponsorship in there, which you see a lot of on Toon Disney. And then we have the opening. And if you notice that it's, it's very segmented, that's because it's owned by Paramount. Paramount's very tight with their copyright. But I still wanted to give you a sense of what the intro to that show was like. And then we go right into a bumper. And at this point in Nickelodeon's evolution, they were getting very slick with their bumpers, and they were actually branding themselves as Nick. And uh, so Nickelodeon was really coming into its own around this time. Then we have an ad for uh, Burger King, and it's a, um, a, a slushy or a shake or something that you can mix the, the flavors. It's pretty cool. And then you have the a kids meal type of a tie-in with Ice Age. This will give you an example of the typical commercials that were featured on um, Hey Arnold. And then here you have Polly Pocket, which I had never heard about until the Barbie movie and they were talking about, oh, maybe we'll make a Polly Pocket movie next. Well, here's a Polly Pocket ad 
uh, back from 2002. And then we have a uh, next up on April Fool's Day, and we see an ad for, uh, I forget the name of this, uh, but here you see it's branded Nick. So you see they're branding it Nick and Nickelodeon. And then here you have um, a very strange ad. Now this is a typical kind of like fly-by-night kids products that showed up and they were around for a couple years then they were gone. These are the lollipop things. And then back into the bumper and now we have the end credits. And you see how the end credits at this point, Nickelodeon was doing what everybody else was doing, which is having the end credits running down the side and then running a promo for other stuff. In this case, their Friday night. Uh, and again, another slight branding tweak, Nicktoons. And then at the bottom, you see the Nickelodeon uh, uh, logo. So all in all, what does this represent? about Nickelodeon and uh, its evolution as a channel. Well, the Nickelodeon that I remember from my childhood was a lot of kids getting green goo dumped on their heads. Very, uh, very targeted towards live action. But by this point in Nickelodeon's evolution, they had kind of evolved into doing a lot, a lot of fresh, brand new comics. I'd never heard of Hey Arnold. I watched the show. Um, I was editing it, and it actually I looked good, and I watched it, and it was fun. It was a little gross in parts, which is kind of a Nickelodeon thing, I think, at least for the time. And uh, But, I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. It, it was a very fun episode, and it was just very well done. I was, I was surprised, to be honest with you, because uh, on, on its face, it didn't look like much to me. But... Um, Hey Arnold, pretty good show. And uh, Nickelodeon, it seems like in their history, Nickelodeon was leaning more towards comics at this point. And of course we know SpongeBob and you have all that stuff. And at the same time, Disney had launched uh, Toon Disney, very heavy on comics. And then JetX kind of changed the dynamic a little bit for them. They started getting into some live action, and then, as we all know, they eventually dumped the whole tune angle and went to Disney XD and started doing a lot of live action shows like uh, I'm in the Band and some other stuff, uh, which, it, you know, I mean, that's fine, but still keep the comics. And for a while, they did keep the comics. Um, I don't know where it is today, I can tell you. That I did look at a listing from 2022, and I think XD was down in the hundreds as far as popularity. It might have been a little bit above that, but it, it was nowhere near what it was in the early 2000s. And part of the reason for that is that the other channels, like Cartoon Network and uh, Nickelodeon, evolved. And you can kind of see that here. So anyway, that's my uh, commentary on this video and my opinion, um, taking kind of a, a look at TV history, cable TV history in particular here, and uh, Nickelodeon and how they presented Hey Arnold back in 2002. I'm Craig. Uh, take care of yourself. Look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by stockagogo.com, stock photos.